Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize how emotional I was. There have been so many changes. I'm just trying to adjust. That's understandable, Gemma. With all your recent changes, what's your biggest concern right now? Well, I'm also concerned that I have friends that have moved into a retirement home recently and they've experienced judgment and moral policing by the staff about being lesbian. Even that person that asked me where I lived and everything, when she asked me about relationships and I told her about my girlfriend, you should have seen the look on her face. She didn't even write Hetty's name down. I am so disappointed about still having to face discrimination at my age. It's so upsetting. People don't understand. And now I'm hesitant to even move in here, even if it is temporary. I wonder if I'll even connect with anyone here. Will I be respected the same as everyone else? Those are real concerns. I'll tell you, Omera. I was a badass back in the day, and no one told me what I could be or what I could do. My wife and I were pioneers of the LGBTQ movement in Toronto, and we fought hard for our civil and human rights. It was a tough time to be gay and lesbian. We were there for the first Pride Day, and we educated the public on what it was like to be discriminated against simply for being different, and my wife and I for being two women in love. My law degree helped me fight for justice and legal protection for all of us. Wow, that's really something. And yet it seems even though I've been open for years about my sexuality, there are some people that want to push me back in the closet. I can't believe it. And I won't do it. I've still got some fight in me left if I need to. And then that person's behavior, the one filling out the form, taking personal information, I just couldn't believe it. It's so upsetting. <sighs>